Hey guys, I'm Mikey and we're back here for another video guys. Welcome back to episode of my 25 fan appreciation pack opening. Let's get started right away guys. Shout out for today will actually go to Beast Mode Boss 77 who said great video on that Zom Gamer. And on Fantasy Truck Stop, the shout out goes to um, Fire Stavia. Who actually said that uh, he's a Raiders fan and he likes the predictions. Make sure guys, if you like a shout out, go check out my other two channels and comment on one of the videos. That Zom Gamer Fancy Truck Stop. I make some very awesome content over there. So definitely go ahead and give those two channels a look. With that in mind guys, this is actually, um, again, I still have like... I think it's like two or three more videos of these 25 fan pa appreciation pack openings. I'm just telling you guys, I went ham on these packs, okay? Like, I think totally I've opened up 155. I'm not proud of who I am. I'm proud that I opened up 155. Guys, if you want some like kind of like um, equations of how much that actually totals, that cost about 155. Uh, 50k a piece would be 7.7 7 million coins. That's pretty much what that equates to. So, yeah. In reality, if we actually look at this, like, you know, in reality here, each one of these videos technically will cost 1.25 million coins. I do it for you guys. <laughs> I do it for you guys because dang that's a lot that's a lot of coins per video but you know these videos do um, help you guys see how good these packs are so when they do bring them back you know you know if you want to open them or not because obviously if they're trash don't open them if they're good don't op uh, open them so with that in mind I will not give my opinion on what I think of these packs until the very last video which it looks like we have two or three more videos of the 25 fan appreciation pack openings before it is over so guys make sure if you are enjoying this video you hit that like button because again 1.25 million coins per pack sorry per video now again i do make coins back by selling the stuff in the pack but a lot of times i don't make the coins back <laughs> and i had to go to like all 10 of my accounts to like you know get all the coins and everything like that but you will see some of these actually not in this video, but <clears throat> in the future, some of them will be on PS4 because I actually switched to PS4 to get my PS4 account so I could even open up more of these. Because again, you can only open up 15 per account, and I did, I believe, eight Xbox accounts and two play, uh, two PlayStation, uh, eight Xbox accounts, two PlayStation accounts, and then I was halfway done on my ninth account. So. <laughs> Guys, guys, this, this I don't know. I, I don't even know what to say, guys. Tell me down below again, what's your best pool of the whole entire year? What what was that fire pool? I gotta say, my best pool of the whole entire year, I pulled a lot of limited time cards, like the, you know, limited editions, uh, Ultimate Legends, I pulled Sam Madison, I pulled, Will, uh, not Willie Brown, I pulled, um, oh, Ahmad Green, I pulled Donnell Dockett, three Ultimate Legend pools this year, um, when it came to Legends, I pulled Jerry Rice and Kevin Mawaii, uh when they won packs, like the limited time cards. Um, and then I did pull a couple Camps Heroes. But I did not pull an ultimate ticket. I did not pull anything crazy like that. But what I got to say, though, is my... I got to say, like, my favorite pool the whole year, the pool that got me the most excited and actually made me get up and walk around was... Had to be that... Um, or was Star Lutatei, the um, Blockbuster 99 overall D tackle. I think it's Star Lutatei. But I pulled him, and that was probably my best pull of the year. Now, he, he went for the most at 550k, because um, Sam Madison, when I did have him, when I did pull him, he went for 500k. And then, of course, um, Amad Green. Actually, no, wait. No, Amad Green was the most expensive. Amad Green for, went for about 850k. So, Amad Green was the mo most expensive pool. But for some reason, when I pulled that, um, do uh, that again, Sol Lutei, I believe his name is, um, I was just, like, ecstatic. And I... <laughs> I shouldn't be because this did came this did come from a fan appreciation pack so technically it should be good odds I should be pulling stuff like that but just the fact of seeing that 99 overall pool and knowing it's like a 500k card 
it just made me so ecstatic. So that is probably my most favorite pool. My best pool would be the uh, Mod Green. But my most favorite pool would be the uh, Solar State. And again, it might just be because it was recent and the promo just came out. And, you know, I actually pulled a 99 overall card uh, that just came out. Um, but then, my, I don't know if Mod Green... I believe a Mod Green was a 99 too. So, actually, um, yeah. So, with that in mind... I, I, I'm still not over that. Now, again, I did give a reaction for that. When I pulled, like, you know, I you're going to see in the, um, you saw a pile already. I pulled 99 McNabb. The, oh, it was McNabb? Not McNabb. It might have been McNabb. I don't know. I, I It was one of those guys. It was one of the quarterbacks. I pulled him, and I didn't give that much reaction because he only went for 100K. And although, yeah, it might be a really cool pull, it just only goes for 100K. It's not getting me that excited. And it's post-commentary. That, that D-tackle pull got me excited when it was post-commentary. That's how you know it was that good of a pull. <laughs> Is I actually was like, whoa, when it was post-commentary. And that was a real reaction. We could even when so seeing it back. Sometimes when you pull something amazing and then you watch it back, you're just like, whoa, that, you know, that was a good pull. You get that, you know, you're so excited about it. You still get that excitement level about pulling it, even though it's, you know, you already pulled it and it's over with. It still gets you that excitement factor. And that's the one thing I love about. That's the one thing that gets me so excited about Madden. It's when you can pull cards like that. And I know pack odds this year have been so booty cheeks. Everyone in the mother has been complaining. And, you know, for good right, we have complained because, again, pack odds should be a lot better than they are. But with that in mind, it really makes it all worth it when you pull those crazy pulls. I see right now I am on PS4. But it makes it worth it when you pull those crazy pulls, guys. It, it just gets you so ecstatic. It gets the blood pumping. And you're just like, oh my god, did I just pull that card? And you don't, you know, you don't know what to do. Sell it or keep it. Now, of course, my whole thing is with limited time cards. I'm going to talk about it in a sniping series video for today. So go check that out if you want to check out uh, my opinion on limited time cards. And what you should do with them. Um, but anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. You're going to see an outro clip after this video of my that, my, uh, my, that Zom Gamer channel. If you enjoyed the clip I and you enjoyed Friday the 13th of the game, go check out my other channel. I upload Friday the 13th, Call of Duty, Black Ops, Zombies, and a lot of other games. So guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. If you enjoy this next clip, definitely go check out my other channel, That's Dom Gamer. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the next clip. What you do, dude? He's gonna try to get away from this. He's not. What? How did. Bro, how did.